become our student, and get access to effective and free educational materials. Where are you going this weekend? I have no idea. Maybe I will sleep for the whole day. So boring. Shall we go out for a picnic with my friends? Sounds interesting. Who are the other people? Fred and David, my college classmates and Rachel. Gorgeous. What should I bring on that day? Your tent and enough food and water. You mean, we can do many other things after the picnic, right? We can go fishing, chatting and camping. What are we waiting for? Come on. Don't hurry. Wait for my call. You are married to a foreigner, huh? So what's it like? Well, the first year of our marriage, we had great difficulty getting along. The things that are important to me are not important to him. We had a lot of conflicts. Yeah, I know what you mean. The first year of any marriage is difficult for all couples, not to mention two people from different cultures. And now we have a two-year-old boy. We're very happy that he's healthy and smart. Oh, so he's half Chinese and half American. That's unusual. What languages does he speak, then? Right now he speaks mostly Chinese, and he can say a few English words. But he will learn. What does he look like? Can people tell? Yes. People surely can. He's whiter than the Chinese kids, and his hair is a little blonde. My husband says his eyes are very Chinese though. Where did you go yesterday? I went to play tennis in the public park. How often do you play tennis? Twice a week. How about you? I seldom play tennis. I prefer football and basketball. What is very difficult to gather team player together? I usually play with my schoolmates. Do you like watching football matches? Yes. I went to Tinge Sports Center for football match last Sunday. I like watching comedies, like, Boat. Do you like watching comedies too? Not really. I like watching horror movies, like, The Unborn. You like horror movies? I don't like them because they're too scary. I like comedies because I love to laugh. I like horror movies because I like to be scared. How do you like your job here, Linda? It's interesting. I like being an editor. Why? I like talking to writers. I get to meet a lot of interesting people. I'm happy to hear that, but publishing is more than just talking to writers. It involves a lot of work, patience and responsibility. Most of the work is boring. I don't feel bored at all. I'm getting along with my colleagues. I will enjoy working with them. People are great in this industry. Do you have any complaints? No, I have no complaints. I hear there are many opportunities to move up in this company. Is that true? Yes, you have many opportunities to grow in this company as long as you do well. That's perfect. I will definitely do well. You always stick to your PC recently. Are you still fascinated by chatting online? For me, the times of chatting online has gone. What the hell are you doing now? I opened my blog today. In order to have more visitors, I have to land on others' blogs and leave my messages for their blogs. 
What's new with you? Do you still remember Justin? Of course. He was our monitor in college. How is him now? He seemed to be dumped by his girlfriend. I found his blogs were a little sad. Let me see. What a moving poem. Hey, Stephen. You have a large chunk of money, but why do you still live in the old flat, instead of buying a new villa? I like to live here and enjoy my neighbor's company. And I don't think I should waste money just because I have much of it. But I found you always hate to part with your money. Look at the car you drive, it's such a junker. Oh, the car is old but still in good condition. I just think we should be thrifty, whether you are rich or not. But but. But what? Just remember that thrift is not only a great virtue, but also a great revenue. Maybe you are right. May I invite you for a dance? With pleasure. You dance well. Do you break dance? Me. What brought that on? There's a story about break dancing in the paper. What does it say? According to the story, it's some sort of modern dance style. Like disco? Well, break dancing is more a physical exercise than a dance. And disco a kind of nightclub. Right. A disco is a place where people dance according to non-stop recorded music. So disco is what the music is called and a disco is a place where people go to dance to it. And breakdancing is a different sort of thing altogether. You are witty. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to become a part of our growing YouTube community and to learn English effectively.